Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a file correctly so that you can do a queue sorting analysis in R using the, the queue method package in R. Um, the final file that you need to have set up needs to look like this. Um, what we have here is these rows represent sorts. So you see we have 11 sorts in this situation, and I've got the data over here. Um, this needs to be in a fixed um, format. Um, done a certain way. You can see here the these are just row numbers or sort numbers, ID numbers, something like that. And they need to encompass exactly 10 character widths. So if you have here, I've got one or two character widths and the rest of course is empty spaces. Then the data each needs to um, be two character widths wide. So that if I've got a negative, it, it, can, it can handle a negative as well. Okay, so that's what goes in the main bulk of it. The first two rows need to be set up so that you have, um, in the first row, we're going to tell it um, how many sorts, 11, um, and how many items. Here we have 51, and then some kind of a project name um, after that that can be whatever you want, that you're naming your project. The way that needs to be done, however, is um, you need to have three character widths here ending with zero, and I'm not sure what that represents, but it's always zero. And then another three character widths to tell it the number of sorts. So space, one, one for 11, and three character widths to tell it the um, number of items. So we have a space and then 51 in this case. And then we're gonna do two spaces before the name of the project. It needs to be set up exactly that way. The second row is where we're going to tell it how this, the scoring is from negative 4 to 4, and we're going to tell it over here how many these values right here represent how many um, items are allowed to be in each um, column or category. So what we have is, um, again, using the three um, um, character widths for each item here. So it starts with, in this case, a negative 4, so I have one space, negative 4 and then we have two spaces, positive four. And then what I do from here on out is I tell it essentially how many could be in each of the a particular column, but starting with the possibility of negative six and going to a possibility of positive 13, so we've got 20 possible spots I need to fill. The first one tells me here I have a zero because I have zero things that are allowed to be in the negative six column. I had zero that were allowed to be in the negative five column, and then I had three in the negative four, you know, four in the negative two, and so forth. This is the zero column, one, two, three, four, and then the rest are zeros because I have zero allowed in each of the others. And again, I've got to do a space, space, and then give me the value so that it, everything's three character widths here. So that's basically how it needs to be looked look like and then it needs to be saved as a dot dat a dot file the best way to do this is um, once you have this set up as any kind of a text file open this up in notepad wordpad um, text editor on the mac um, once you have it opened up this way so that it looks right we're going to save it as dot dat this way we do a save as i give it a, i give it a name this is whatever i want to call it and then I just type .dat here. I type .dat here and hit save. It saves it, so you'll see as a .dat file. And that, that's what we need to have. Now, you may wonder how to get this into this um, format in a text file to start with. Well, if you start with your data in Excel, so let me open it up in Excel here. If you start with your data here in Excel, all right, I've got some old files here, then what you want to do is, of course, put the ID numbers here, the data in the other columns, and um, just adjust these column widths that have all your data to two characters wide, adjust this first column to 10 characters wide, and left align this column, okay? Once you've done that, um, you also want to make sure if we look at the options here, see it's a general, I want to make sure my data is in number format um, with no zero decimal places after it. And then I just do a save as, 
Um, of course, I don't have any data here, but I'm just going to show you. Do it as a as a save as, save as um, wherever it's going to go. And then um, what I do is I scroll down here and I look for this um, formatted text right here, space delimited. That's how I save it. So if I save it that way with, again, everything that's data, two columns wide, the ID column 10 characters, and two characters wide, the ID column 10 characters wide left aligned, and everything is in, saved as a number, then I save this right here as space delimited formatted text. That will, you can open up in, um, in now your text editor like this, and it will, will look right. What I usually do is format these, la these 11 rows here, open it here, and then manually in the text editor type in this information, the top two rows, and then save it with that .dat as part of the name that saves it as a, with a dat extension. It's smart enough to know how to do that. And then when you're done, you have your data file in the correct format for use in, um, in R's Q method um, software.